The original Cardo Pack Talk packaging differs from the newer Pack Talk Fold in various ways. The original box is larger and bound in a leather finish with a magnetic clasp that holds it together. The new Pack Talk Fold has a much simpler packaging, a cardboard sleeve and box. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but they've clearly saved some money on the newer packaging. Both sport cool photos of motorcycles. Inside, you'll find identical items. Both come with 40mm Velcro mount speakers. However, the bold with JBL contains, as you guessed it, JBL branded speakers. Two choices of microphones, boom or full faced. They also come with accessories such as Velcro pads, alcohol cleaning wipes, and a sticker. The units themselves are very similar with only a few cosmetic differences. The bold having the blue Cardo logo. The original having the original name moniker of Scalar Rider Pack Talk. The big difference here is the helmet mount. The original Pack Talk actually comes with a metal clip mount opposed to the bold plastic clip. This might not seem like a big difference, but I have far more confidence in not breaking the metal clip when installing the unit to the helmet. The fit can be very tight, and I was more nervous pulling and pushing the plastic clip. It didn't end up being a problem, but it's something to note. Before reviewing the features and voice commands, I updated both units to the latest firmware. Hello, Joe. MC, intercom, mode, mobile phone, one, connected. Hello, Jody C. DMC, intercom, mode. Mobile phone, one, connected. Okay, um... So, boo doo doo doo, <laughs> right? Okay, so you're on Bluetooth mode. I need to change you to DMC mode. So, push the top and bottom button to do that. And so now it's flashing green, so you're in DMC mode. I'm going to turn mine on. Hello, Jody C. DMC, intercom, no, mobile phone, one, connected. <laughs> what? She was talking to me while you were talking, so I couldn't hear anything you were saying. Oh, that's okay. So, it started up, it said... I can hear you now. Okay. Okay, so we, we paired instantly because we had already paired these two once before. And so, it remembers... I'm wondering if one of the tests we should do is to like pair it up from scratch and see how long it takes. Okay. Are we doing that today? Let's do that right now. Oh. Like a repair kind of thing. Okay, so here's what you do. We're going to push um, your top one. You should hear five beeps. Sorry. Okay, then I'll do that same thing to mine. Grouping. And then I push mine once, basically meaning I'm going to be the, uh, Grouping success. really? Yeah. Oh, mine hasn't done that yet. I'm a winner. That was pretty fast though. Yeah. Well, except on your end. It hasn't done it on mine though. Grouping success. There we go. Now it worked. Oh, yeah. There. Okay. So mine said group. So yours connected a lot quicker than mine. And I didn't push any buttons. I'm wondering if maybe it's because, like, you, if there was, like, ten of us, we should all be able to do that same process and all connect together. And I'm wondering if maybe it was just like, okay, you're connected, and then maybe mine, since mine was the, the person who pushes it, it becomes the, I don't know, the 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 group leader I guess or you know and so I'm wondering if it then is waiting for for other people to um is that on video? 
<laughs> Do you want it to be? <laughs> I mean, sure. I mean, but I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm wondering if the the head grouper, uh, whatever you call it, um, waits a little bit to see if anybody else is connecting. And then once it doesn't, it, it ends the connection. If that makes sense. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Were you videoing or picture? Yeah, just oh, okay. giving you some B-roll. Hey! Radio on. Radio on. 105.3 Hey! Next station. 93.3 Radio off. Radio off. Wow, that looks way better than I remember it. I think uh, with the new firmware update, the voice commands on the older style pack talk is much better. Because I remember the beat being a lot louder and uh, longer, kind of more of a beep kind of kind of beep instead of a kind of a short beep. Um, and it's picking up my voice a lot better, I think. So I think that's definitely an improvement over um, the old unit with, the, with its firmware. The other problem, though, is that, um, yeah, see, uh, radio on. Radio on. Hey! Radio off. 93.3. Hey! Radio off. Radio off. So the voice commands on the pack talk aren't, I mean, okay. So here's, this is the exact issue that I'm talking about, is if I'm talking, uh, any kind of loud uh, noise that I make with my mouth is going to trigger the voice commands. So if I am singing along to a song, or if I'm talking to someone else on, the, on Bluetooth, um, or if I'm just like, hey, watch out for that, it'll 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 trigger the voice command. Command so. list. Call intercom. Music on. Radio on. Battery status. List. So if I'm stopped, maybe it'll be much more sensitive because it's not not as much ambient noise. So hey, hey, radio on. Radio on. Hey. Ninety-three point three. Hey. Radio off. Radio off. Hey! Battery status. Oh. Hey! Radio on. Hey! Radio on. Oh, I didn't see a command list. Hey! Pick up music voice on. commands when I'm talking to someone else. I didn't say music on. 1.5. Change. Hey. Radio off. Radio off. So it's definitely not as responsive as the Pack Talk Bold, for sure. The, the other problem I have, though, like I mentioned earlier, is if I'm just talking or if I, I'm singing along to the music, you know. It'll pick up a sound. I see. It just now, I thought I wanted a, a command. So, and I'm not sure what that second beep was. That didn't sound like it's, it's the standard uh, command prompt. 
I might be able to adjust the... Not available. Actually, I can adjust the sensitivity on the pickup. 93.3. So. Ah, hey! Radio off, please. Radio off. Whew, I just can't say anything. Or it'll just start doing things. So that's definitely a problem with the standard pack talk is if you're talking or making any kind of noise, it's constantly trying to pick it up. Um, you can, however, just the sensitivity. Hey, next station. 101.5. Hey! Next station. Hey! Next station. Hey! Radio off. Radio off. <sighs> okay, with the Cardo Connect app, you can control things like audio, rider intercoms, music, your radio. So you can, I believe you can change your presets here, maybe? Let's try it, oh, yep. So I held it down and I changed it to something I don't want it to be. 89.5, 89.5, oh, cool. 101.5. You can use this. This is actually 93.9, Hey, Cardo. Hey! Radio off. Radio off. Um, okay, settings. Here we go. Audio settings, audio profiles. If you are in... Um, if you have a standard pack talk and you're in the Cardo app and open up audio profiles, it's all locked because um, you need the JBL audio set, which uh, this current unit does not have so those are all locked out audio settings volume sensitivity automatic volume volume levels all right say hey before the command to operate your unit you can turn that off that way every time you make any sort of noise it's not going to um, pick up and try to execute a voice command now I'm pretty sure that you can check adjust the sensitivity of how sensitive it is to pick up your hey voice um adjust it over your microphone for intercom and phone calls i mean you have microphone sensitivity and volume sensitivity for automatic volume adjustment however i'm almost sure that the old style on the website you could go to the cardo community and you could set how sensitive your hey voice command would be this just looks like microphone microphone sensitivity it just in general for your microphone. Um, anyway, uh, Bluetooth audio mixing, advanced audio priority. You can adjust the uh, priority of what comes through your audio source for your intercom. Um, intelligent noise block, which blocks uh, outside noise, which I think actually works fantastic. Uh, so in general, the pack top bold is superior to the standard pack top when it comes to voice commands um, that much is definitely true however everything else is equal um, they're essentially the same unit with the exception of the better voice commands in the pack talk bold hey! Radio off. I mean, music off. Music off. Yeah, that one. Oh, now the radio's on. What happened? Hey. Song. Oh. Hey. Hey. Radio off. Radio off. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. I had like four commands back to back overlap, overlapping with each other. So that was a little strange.
Ricardo, next track. Hey Cardo, music off. Hey Cardo, music off. Hey Cardo, music off. Mm. Hey Cardo, next track. Mm. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. Hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 105.3. Hey Cardo, next station! Hey Cardo, next station! Hey Cardo, next station! 93.3 Hey Cardo, next station! 94.7 Hey Cardo, next station! 103.5 Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, radio off. Radio off. it up a little bit better instead of like screaming at it um so that, i thought that was kind of interesting as well so let's try, let's try it again hey cardo radio on radio on 103.5 hey cardo next station hey cardo next station Okay, so what are some of the other commands that I use pretty frequently? It's basically just radio on and off, um, uh, next track, volume up and down every once in a while, depending on uh, how, how loud the volume is. The other thing is that this does have dynamic audio leveling, so um, if it's kind of quiet, it'll increase the volume based on the sound. So let's take a look at that. So, hey, Cardo, music on. Music on. And then if it gets a little louder from wind noise. Hey Cardo, next track. Oh, Van Halen. Hey Cardo, uh, music off. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. Uh, okay, so what are some of the other tests I want to do? Radio on, music on, music off. Um, I also use it to connect with other riders. I usually only ride with one to four people, so generally after we're connected, that's that's pretty much it. I would like to do a test with um, the, a rider connected and the music on to see how the audio leveling works with that. Um, generally what it does is it reduces the sound uh, or the volume of the, the music when somebody's talking. Um, however, I have experienced times where the music just stays quiet even if nobody's talking and maybe that's because that open uh, comm channel it just thinks you're you're talking um, I'm not really sure I'll have to do some more tests with that in the future and then when you're stopped and it's quiet it's much easier for um, Cardo to pick up on your commands so check this out hey Cardo radio on radio on 101.5 hey Cardo next step next station Hey Cardo, next station. 
Hey, Cardo, volume down. Local diners are invited to enjoy double cut. Hey, Cardo, volume up. Steakhouse. Sortina's Italian Kitchen with authentic Hey, Cardo, radio off. Radio off. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How do I get home? Yeah, I'm not sure how well the Google Connect works, to be honest, because whenever I'm connected um, and I do an OK Google type search, it never really goes through. So, um, do something something fairly simple, fairly regular. So, you say OK Google and whatever, I don't know, find the nearest gas station. So, OK Google. OK Google. Find the nearest gas station. And then nothing happens. So it'll just OK Google and then nothing from there. Try again. OK Google. OK Google. How do I get home? Nothing. OK Google. OK Google. Who was in Independence Day? Nothing. OK Google. OK Google. Who won the Oscar for Best Picture last year? Oh, check out all the motorcycle cops over there. There's like one, two, three, four, five of them. That's fun. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What is the number for Baskin Robbins? Nothing. Okay, here are some phone numbers for Baskin Robbins near your location. Oh, finally, something worked. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How do I get home? Mm. No. Nope. And a few subway locations near you. You know what though? I'm wondering if my phone picked it up from my voice from the helmet, not necessarily going through the Cardo app. I bet you that's what happened. Let's try again. Let's go way back here so it doesn't pick me up. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest coffee shop? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest coffee shop? Yeah, I mean, it barely picks it up and I'm sitting still in traffic. I'm not going anywhere, so it's not loud. There's not a lot of other interference. Um, so I can't even imagine using the OK Google uh, option if you're on the highway or if you're drive or if you're riding in any sort of speed with any sort of external road noise or anything like that so okay google how do i get home or another common thing that i think a lot of people would do is as they're riding they may decide to go somewhere else or maybe they they, they planned out a, a, a nav option and then they want to change where they're going so you might use okay google to try to, to navigate you somewhere else so okay google okay google navigate me to the nearest gas station yeah, nothing. So I don't trust that at all. Uh, the other voice commands work pretty well. Um, the Hey Cardo volumes up and down and radio on and off, that sort of thing works well. Um, I'll have to connect with the rider so you can uh, see and hear how it works with an, another rider paired. But I generally don't use a lot of the other options such as, um, you know, um, singling out one rider to talk to individually. You can do that through the, the, the app. Um, I also don't really use the app for the radio or other music options. I just pretty much just um, turn my phone on and turn the turn the app on, uh, fire up my Amazon Music, and then just use the voice commands that way. It seems to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think like I said, uh, it, if you only have a couple of things that you're familiar with using, I think that's you know that works pretty well. But you know. Trying to utilize the unit for all of the functionality that's advertised. One, it's, it's hard to remember all the commands. And another is that it doesn't look like they work all that well, especially the Google one, you know. So I wouldn't put a whole lot of uh, faith in, in how well the Google I guess what we can do is, since we have a curve, we can test the um, ability for the uh, line of sight. Okay. Right? And so maybe you can just hang out here and I'll walk down there and kind of go around the curve. 
I'll see if he leaves me or not. Okay. Sounds good. See ya. Okay. All right. Great. Let me let me turn mine. Turn your distance. My distance on. Okay. So we're gonna measure distance. GPS measuring. Start measuring. Okay. I like the camera work, babe. Time. Okay. I got you. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Distance test number one. Can you hear me now? I can still hear you. Mm -hmm. It's so windy out today. Can you hear me now? Still can hear you. But can you hear the wind? I through, mean... Through the microphone? No, it's just windy. Oh, I can hear it on your end a little bit when you talk. Oh, my visor's up. I wonder if that makes a difference. Oh, that's okay. Still sound loud and clear. Yep, sounds great. We are currently at 42 meters, 50 meters. Oh, so, they say the range on these things is like a mile. Oh, oh they're starting to break up a little bit. Yeah? They say, the ra they say the range is supposed to be like a mile, even though I think in practice it's probably not. Actually, I think, I want to say they, they, that the range is supposed they're to be like a one and a half miles. Ooh, I heard you break up a little bit, right? Yeah, you've been breaking up ever since, like, for the last 15, 20 steps. Really? Mm-hmm. And we're only 88 now, meters away. But now that you're stable... Now that I've stopped. I can hear you fine. So, hmm. Okay, I'll keep going. So, I'm going to lose sight of you here in a second. I'm behind this truck. Can you still hear me? Oh, you're turning into robot voice now. Hello, hello? It's, I can barely hear you. I can tell you're trying to communicate with me. Wow, yeah, you're, you're a little robot voicey on me right now. Mm -hmm. And I can see you. I have line of sight. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to go around this house. Can you hear me now? I it just I got a sack. You got a what? And here comes the car. Okay, well, oh, I think I lost you. Uh oh. Oh, I lost you. Yeah, I, I've been talking. I told you a whole story about the Amazon truck. Dang! I, as soon as I went around the corner, you dropped off. Let me try it again. Hello. 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 I can hear you. You're breaking up. Oh, you dropped off as soon as I went around the corner. So, I broke up when I went around the corner, right? Mm hmm And so that was... To where you are. That was 129.4 meters in an arc around the corner, and you dropped off. So, yeah, the distance on this thing is definitely not... A mile. <laughs> Definitely not. So I guess we could also try without going around the corner, just like a straight line of sight distance, and okay. see how how long we how far we could go. Two, we're going for just raw distance with no curves, line of sight distance. We're at zero meters, and go. Can you hear me now? I can still hear you. Okay. How do I sound? Sound good. Sound good? Yeah? Yeah, line of sight is definitely the way to go on this because, you know, before, as soon as I went around the corner, it just totally broke up. Oh, I lost you. Can you hear me? Oh, I heard a beep, so I thought maybe I, I lost you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I beeped again. Oh, hmm. I'm wondering if it's like... A warning, like, hey, you're pushing it. How about now? Oh, I heard Are another beep. Are you still beep. talking? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I hear a beep every once in a while. I'm wondering if that's the beep that is dro the drop-off beep, you know? Okay. I can still hear you. I'm still here. I still see you. I think maybe you're starting to break up a little bit. Yeah, I'm starting to lose you. Hello? 
But I think the interesting thing is, is that as soon as I started to go around the corner is when I started yeah. to lose you. you got, and that was kind of the same thing on the other street, too, as yeah. soon as you went around the curve. Yeah. Okay, so we're at 285 meters, 300 meters, essentially. Work it, work <laughs> it. See that model walk. Yeah, yeah. How'd I do? Very fast. 311 meters. And then we lost audio. I can hear you. You're quieter. Oh yeah? Hmm. A um, okay. Um, I don't know. I think I have my mic on. But how's your volume? Maybe you turn it down a little? Maybe I turn it down. How about now? Oh, you're breaking up a little bit. I'm oh, sorry. How about now? Hello, hello. hello. You're breaking up a little. Breaking up a little bit. How about now? Looking for you. Yeah? Yep. Still hear me? I can still hear you. Yeah? I can still hear you and I can still see you. Can you see me? I'm on kind of like the shoulder now. I can see you. Keep going. Okay. Okay, I'm about to lose you. Okay, how about now? How about now? Oh, I lost you. Oh, and we dropped off. Hello? 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 Ah, I picked you back up. I got you again. I can see you now. I can see you now too. Wow. So, huh. I mean, that's pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a little breaking up right now. Yeah, it happens to me too. So basically, you know, whenever it picks up something that it thinks it's either talking or whatever volume is loud enough, then it'll pick it up. All right. <laughs> All right. So. I think that spot, right, when we kind of lost sight, it coincided with the curve, but I also don't think that the line of sight distance would have been much further than that because it was breaking up a lot. 615 meters. So 615 meters, which I think is a pretty good real world, um, number. What do you think, Waldo? Do you have an opinion? Huh? No. He has no opinion. No opinion? I'm glad we did that. Because that's actually pretty far. Because it was 300 meters uh, before, and then as soon as we hit the curve, we lost each other. And on this one, it was 600 meters, and we started to lose each other right before the curve. And then as soon as we hit the curve, it was gone. So I would say that that line of sight distance is pretty accurate to the maximum range of this in a straight line. What do you think? I agree. I think that was a good example. Yeah, I think so. Both units are IP67 rated waterproof. 
That rating means they're protected from dust and immersion in water up to a depth of one meter for up to 30 minutes. Having ridden in the rain, I've never had any issues. Final thoughts. The original PackTalk has nicer packaging and a metal clip mount. The PackTalk Bold's voice commands are far superior and more intuitive to use. The JBL 40mm speakers are better than the original, but not by much. You probably won't be able to tell the difference. OK Google does not work at all on the PackTalk Bold. Real world range is a max of 620 plus meters for two riders. However, more riders paired will extend the range as the riders daisy chain their distance. Both units can be fidgety at times and inconsistent. Overall, they may be the best con systems you can buy, but at a street price of $289, they are expensive. Some things I would like to see. I would like to see Cardo add a vlog feature. There's a high quality microphone in the helmet. It's silly that vloggers usually end up buying separate mics to record. Why not add a recorder to the app to capture all comm communications? This would be a game changer for the vlogging community. More seamless app interface. It's better than it used to be, but I still rarely use the app when writing. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what your experience is with the Pack Talk or the Pack Talk Bold.